What is going on you guys? How you guys doing? My name is Brennan Taylor. If you don't know, now you know. Man, it has been way too long since I did that. And I'm not saying I'm getting back into that, but I know a couple of y'all have been requesting I go back to the vlog, so we're gonna film this video today in vlog format, so we don't know what craziness is about to appear for today. It's a cold, cloudy day, looks pretty depressing. Jake said let's meet up, let's go try something we've never tried before, so that sounded interesting to me. Let's go, come on. Right, you've probably seen a lot of your favorite influencers talking about these things, this company's been sending them out. Oh, babies, a blaster, a gel blaster. So you know you've seen these, they look like Orbeez, they're little gel. Pop them in there, Brrr, rapid fire on these hoes. So I'm gonna go give Jake a little surprise. Come on. <laughs> All right, Jake, you, you brought me here, but why? This. What, a, a Healthway Pharmacy? No, 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 this. Jamafo, Jamaican food. I never had no Jamaican food before, man. <laughs> let's get on in there and let's try this for the first time. Come on. Go. This way, please. Thank you, good sir. There's no one here. Okay, I think this is a case of one of those ghost kitchens. Basically, we put our order in. No one actually works here except for the people who Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, you scared me. <laughs> I thought this was like one of those peopleless places. <laughs> All right, so this is the regular menu, and this is the vegan option. I mean, that looks really good. That looks that actually yeah, insane. Yo, chili? I think we try a bunch of different stuff here. Oh, we should probably get that jerk chicken, because you know I like to jerk the yeah. chicken. Let's what? Jerk chicken, I want a curry chicken box, too. Jake, you know this soon? There's some coconut curry shrimp. That looks like it's calling out to you us. You want to go spicy? Spicy. Oof. Oof. You act like a goat, I'll buy you a goat. <laughs> Total's here, 53 bucks for just two people. That's kind of a lot, but especially when there's no one out here working doing their thing. But hey, they're back there. They they back there. Before I got completely terrified, I want to point out this sick ass crew neck that I'm wearing. It's backwards right now, but show the people what it really looks like. This is FU. This isn't about FU. It's about Foodie University. Have you ever dropped out of college and you wanted to get one of these, but you couldn't because you didn't go to college? Well, now you can. FU. Enroll now. BrennanTaylor.com. Fix on up. So today we're trying Jamaican sodas. It's called soft drink. Soft drink. Now, I got cola champagne. And so keep in mind it says on the top, original Jamaica flavor. Good. Cheers. Ah, oh, it ain't beer. It ain't I'll tell you that. Nice and creamy. Wow. I love cream soda. Just it, it reminds me of just drinking like a root beer float. It's creamy. It's tasty. It's you know still bubbly, carbonated. Mm, pretty good, man. If, it, if the food tastes as good as this, look. This tastes like when when they make those ices on the side of the road with the baratero man and they pouring that. Uh huh. Like the flavor. Yeah. Honestly, I'm I'm so far so good. I just heard a microwave. That's not a good sign. You know I'm my friend, yeah. Cause friends stick together to the end. Then you go and stab me in the back and then pretend that I'm the bad guy. Then you ask why, why, why you're not my friend, yeah. Cause friends lift each other when they can. But you let me down, never thought of me. All right, we got the food, we got another drink. Let's get home and let's try some Jamaican food. Come on. Sir, you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh. Sir. This is the surprise, motherfucker. Alright you guys, so I've never had Jamaican food, so this is gonna be very interesting. She said this on the top is the goat. So look, goat, we just had goat earlier. We made a short video taco. Yeah, goat. So we love goat. You guys know us. If you don't watch the shorts already, you should check them out. But then the next pile we have is the curry shrimp. She labeled all of them for us, which is really kind, because if we got these all blindly, we'd be like, what? <coughs> well, that's a small strong smell. That's good, that is well. Mmm. Jerky. I just hope my pee doesn't smell like this in the morning. 
kind of like manly smell though. It's like a musky smell. Oh wow. Oh wow, that looks That's amazing. Nice. This is like what you would order and you'd get from the Sims. Like it's like a Sims meal. So what we're gonna do is we're, we each have our own box. This is what we literally both called out what we wanted to order. Jake got the jerk chicken, I got the curry shrimp. So let's taste them. This more looks like burnt chicken to me, but. I think that's what jerk chicken is. It's like a chicken being a jerk, so you burn it to the crisp. Okay, wow. Oh my God. That's really tasty. Jamaican food kind of has this like subtle spice to it. This, it's not even like a spice. It's like a, a bunch of array of a flavor. Just one of those flavors in there seems to be a little bit spicy. Mm. Banana's good. That's a banana? Mm -hmm. No way. Mm -hmm. Jake says this is a banana. It's a plantain. Wow. The rice is amazing, the shrimp is outstanding. Let's switch. Perfect delicate pops. It's like being in. Mary Poppins. Mm, this one's good. Uh huh. Oh, I'm hitting. Chicken is nice though. It just has bones. I don't like things with bones in it. Yeah. I noticed that in the goat, there's a lot of bones too, just like really. The hand there. This place we checked it up on Yelp. It has almost five stars, 200 reviews, basically claiming that this place is great. And I will say for the Jamaica food, like this is the first time I have Jamaica food, and I think it's actually pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Like I would for sure have Jamaica food again. My biggest thing is just bones, and when it's so like compact like this, you don't have a lot of room to take it apart and dissect it. But I will say, for the price of this little plate, you're getting a lot of food. Mm -hmm. Let's move on and let's taste some of this goat. Okay. Be careful with these bones, all right? Oh, well, there's a lot of bones. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm. That's probably some of the best goat I think I've had. That's amazing. That's like swallow me, so, swallow me soft. What? Oh my God. As weird as that sounded. They can swallow me hard any night. Bro, what are you talking about, man? This, this has definitely been soaking in these bones. That's why these bones are just yeah. fall right off. They don't have time to dig through there. And take yeah, them I really just don't like the process of doing that. But like, cause honestly, wow. if I went back, I would not do the jerk chicken, I would do the goat. I would do goat. And I would want to mix it all up with all this stuff, with the mm -hmm. rice, you know, and it's hard when you have bones in there. Yeah. Right. There's, these are not small bones either. As you can see, I'm pulling out big sized bones. Let's lastly rip this bone open. So this is called a Jamaican patty. And there's meat inside. Wow. Yeah, I want this one. Okay. Let's go, look at this is what's inside. Almost looks like beans. Like ground beef. Ground beef with beans almost looks like. Whoa, whoa. Definitely beans. It's a bean mixture. But the outlet, outside layer is kind of like a cornbread, like yeah, real like, sweet. Almost like a cornbread, almost like a, a, a soft cheese it. It's like a big soft cheese. It like it's crispy, mm. cr a crusty. Play good. I will come back for one. This is really good. This is like their version of an empanada. I like that. Yeah. So Jake and I have been thinking about moving to Nashville, but our girlfriends don't want to go. Yeah. So we might we might be recently single. So what do you guys think? Do we leave them? Do we leave our loves and move to what makes us happy out in Nashville, or do we stay with our loves and be miserable here in California? Mm. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. Now. <laughs> What would you do? What would you do? Now let's get to some more fun stuff. Come on. Hey, you guys, so we're pulling up to the Apple store right now, Jake. Before before we go in there, I will guarantee buy you an Apple Watch right now, but you have to pass a quiz, okay? Oh my God. First question, who directed the movie Star Wars? George Lucas. Okay, okay, good, good. Now, who directed the movie E.T.? Drew Barrymore was in it. No, but who directed it? He's a Stephen, uh, Stephen Hawking. No. <laughs> I know the name Stephen, but I don't know the last name. God, it starts with an S. Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question to secure you an Apple Watch right now. Who is the director of Avatar? Michael Bay. Mm. No. It is Michael Bay. No, it's not. He also did Titanic. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. No, mother. <laughs> Give me initial. J. Cameron. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> all right, I'll buy you one, all right? Oh, go on. So there we are, 469. Now, Ooh. never say I'm a bad boss, all right? My lucky day. All those times you put me through hell. Thank you. We've paid off. You guys, hit the like in the chat right now for Jake. He deserves it. All the bathroom reviews. Now he's got to watch. The smelly ones, all the food, the toenails. Ugh. Okay, Jake, look, that reaction wasn't good enough. I need something a little bit better for the vlog. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. I'm going to get skinny. I'm going to lose all this stuff because I'm going to be able to track all my steps at the gym now. And I'm going to have a six pack for the new year. Good. Shed a tear. Shed a tear. You're laughing. Tear. Okay, okay. <laughs> now you got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it's July 1st right now. Happy New Year, Happy everybody. New Year. 
Something crazy happened last night. This is the first time this has ever happened to me in my life. Kobe and I are sitting in an Uber. It's about 2 a.m. You know, we're, we're, we're thinking everything is good. We're going home. We're thinking we're alive. You know, this is a good sign. Next thing I know, I start feeling the gag. You know, we've been drinking a lot. I start a feeling, lot. you know that feeling when you're like, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, yeah. There's oh, nothing yeah. I can do about it, bro. I sit in there, bro. This is my thought process. Instead of being like, yo, bro, down the window, I got them, I was like, I'm gonna cup this shit. I said, <laughs> I said, I'm gonna cup it, bro. And I went like this. I opened my shirt and I just started throwing up into my hoodie, bro. <laughs> oh, That's why that. it started squirting all over me. Oh. And Kobe looks at me like this. <laughs> and hoping that the driver didn't see turn left right here. Okay. And then uh, fucking the lady starts pulling over and asking me to like clean it. Yeah. And I'm like out there 2 a.m. cleaning it on the freeway. And then I think to myself, why the fuck am I cleaning this? I'm gonna already pay for it. I might as well just yeah. not. And that was how my fir uh, first day of the, the new year started. Yeah, Literally no, came home, bro. It was hours. <laughs> soaked, bro, with throw up. Shit. It was disgusting. Damn, bro. So, note to everyone: don't drink as much as Kobe and I. <laughs> right? If you if you do, don't try to cup your puke. It's not gonna work. And don't try to like just shut your mouth. It doesn't work either. It comes out. <laughs> You know my friend, yeah. cause friends stick together to the end Then you go and stab me in the back